So let me tell you a bit about where we are. Now, obviously I'm in Fairlight Glen, which is between Fairlight and Hastings, basically. Um, and it's a nice, beautiful bit of woodland. Um, like I said, I've shot here before, but I haven't been up this way. I've stayed down at the other end, nearest the coast. Um, and we've come to basically this bit of here because it has a name called the Dripping Well, I believe it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment below. Um, and we wanted to find out what it looked like because we'd only seen a few pictures and things like that. But I'm really struggling up there. So before I get frustrated with myself, um, I'm deciding to head back down away from that massive rockery up there. And uh, let's see if I can either find a nice tree to photograph or some other small shapes in this in this S Bend River down here. Um, but the problem is with the river is that there's a lot of debris in it because obviously over the last few months we've been having a lot of high wind, lots of rain as well. So there's just lots of logs, piles of mud just absolutely everywhere. So it does make um, shooting conditions very difficult when it comes to uh, keeping things simple. But, you know, we've got a few hours to play with and um, a nice area to cover. So I'm sure there's some nice juicy little gems hidden around in here. I've left Gary up at the top. But yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep exploring anyway. See what we can find. As you can see I'm set up for my next composition and I had the same idea is back up there is going really tight on just the black rock up there and maybe even black and white uh, but I'm I wasn't quite liking it the composition wasn't working for me it wasn't sort of jumping out at me to 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 keep to take it basically so I gave up on that and I just took a step back I just took a step back and thought, what is actually drawing me to this image? And it was actually this big rock here that actually was drawing my eye and leading me into the scene. And so I thought, well, I, I don't want all of the boulder in this shot, because as you can see, it's very messy and I'm tight for space down here, which means that I'd have to go up there and I'd be a lot higher and it, it, it was too much of a, a, it might have worked possibly, but I'm happier with this composition and this setup. So as you, um, as you can see, I'm stuck down in this ditch, so I can't really move that well, but I've used this bit here. So I'm gonna look at the screen so I can see what I'm doing. So I use this bit here, then I jump to this rock and then this rock, and then obviously then you've got yeah, yeah, your little waterfall cascading off down there. Um, just a second ago, we did have a break in the cloud which casted some really nice light on this rock and that one there, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, so I have uh, had to actually exposure blend this. So I've taken a separate image for this bit here, this section here and this one, and then I've taken a slightly darker, moodier um, one in there which is giving me a, I think it was like a fourth of a second shutter speed just to create some movement in the water and I'm going to exposure blend them and I think it will come out all right I'm I'm, I'm intrigued myself to look at this one you guys are going to probably see it before me so <laughs> well in video terms anyway but yeah it's uh I'm really happy with this one it's it's something that I didn't think I was going to capture I was going to walk away from this scene but I'm glad I didn't now um so yeah 
I hope you enjoy the image and I am eager to go and see what's down there because I can hear a lot of running water. So, right, onwards and upwards. So as you can see, I think we've actually found the main part of the dripping well. It's, it's bloody impressive, I have to give it that. I am actually getting a little wet here. Um, but the good thing I like about this location is the fact that you can actually get down here, it's accessible. There's proper made paths and steps. So, but what I want, I haven't even decided what I'm gonna shoot yet down here. I haven't even had the, the chance to even look because I'm that excited. But, um, the thing I'm curious about is what Gary has actually pointed out is that we might be able to get up there which I don't know if you can see on this lens but there's another waterfall up there which is which is bloody impressive um, I might try and capture the whole thing uh, both of them in one but I, I think that's a little bit ambitious um, to be honest with you but it's worth a go definitely an image to be had here super excited about this one um, and I've lived in this, this town my whole life and I'd, I've never even been here before. So, super pumped right now. Awesome. Well, I've just set up my shot and I've already taken it because I want to try and hurry up to the, so Gary can get in and do his shot. Now, I've tried to center my camera as best as I can between the two falls themselves and I've used this stump down here which has got some ferns growing out of it as a foreground interest. I have focused at this, I've focused on there and then one on the falls themselves. I don't know whether it's actually necessary, but I've taken it anyway. Um, I've got around about six seconds shutter speed, which is actually a little bit more than I wanted, to be honest. I wanted about half of that, uh, but I'm already at f11. I don't want to go to f16, because I don't think that this lens is very sharp at f16, personally. But yeah, fantastic image, and I can't, I'm just about to try and climb up there in a minute. Not obviously that way, but I'm gonna go around that way. Um, but yeah, superb image, and I'm glad that we found this spot. Um, it's image of the day, I think, for me, so far anyway. Beautiful, right, let's keep going. Now I've left Gary down the bottom uh, with all the camera gear while he takes his other shot. Um, I'm trying to find a way onto another platform to try and photograph the other waterfall. But the way that we thought we were gonna get up isn't gonna happen. So another bit of scouting about, I think. Right, we have come to the end of today's video sadly it's just not gonna happen that that shot down there isn't gonna work so oh sorry so we ditched that idea and unfortunately time is up um, we got a 20 minute walk back to the car probably and the car obviously has a ticket which obviously it almost runs out so but still three images today which is absolutely fantastic and that last image of that waterfall, I really love. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.